Hello, and welcome to the third installment in the Loot Root Guide series. The map of Chernaris is really, really big and can be quite intimidating to new players. You can see the small red box, which is about the size of your average Call of Duty map, and the larger orange box, which is about the size of the average Battlefield map. So it's safe to say that there is a lot of map for new players to learn. This series is intended to help you new players learn the map by helping you figure out where the hell you spawned, what important areas you should loot, and then where you should go from there. For this installment, we're going to start off in Electro, a large city in the southern portion of the map, and work our way west to Zelenogorsk, which is another large city that has become a pretty active PvP zone. This route takes you through a lot of interesting towns, some small military camps, and several larger military bases. I'll also be continuing this loot route further north from Zelenogorsk in another video, so make sure you subscribe in order to see that one. Electro is a large town with a lot to offer. If you spawn here, there are a lot of different directions you could go. You'll know you spawn in Electro by spotting the large dock area on the coast, these two solitary apartment buildings, or the church up on this hill. Let's take a closer look at the main part of Electro. In the main part of Electro, we have a single military tent, a corner guard building, a new style of police station, a well, a hospital, and a fire station. Now we're quickly going to zoom in on the industrial part of Electro. There's a couple civilian and military shipping containers in this area that are worth checking out, but more importantly there are a few guard buildings that I'll point out as we make our way out of Electro and over to Cherno. Here's one, but we're going to go past it and then make a right at the large office building. Follow this road while looting cars and some of these row houses, because I think a lot of people overlook them. Then, over here, you'll see another guard building and a little green guard shack that you can loot. Keep going straight until you get to the two apartment buildings in the main road and make a left. Up ahead, here, is going to be another well you can hit before we make our way to Cherno. There's one more guard shack to the left of this gas station. Now let's make our way to Cherno and we'll fast forward a little bit. The run from Electro to Cherno is a long one, and there's not a lot along the way. The only real place you could find food and water is on the boats on the coast, so make sure to check those out. Cherno is a huge city that has changed quite a bit over the years. We're going to start off in the industrial area and then work our way to the center where the capitol building is. So here's where we left off. Start by hydrating yourself over here, and then follow the road into the shipping area of Cherno. Once you get to this green guard shack on the left, make a left into the shipping and industrial area of Cherno. This is probably the biggest shipping area with the most military shipping crates. Uh, it's definitely worth looking at all of them, even though that some of them don't open, which can be pretty annoying. But you can find a lot of good military gear in this area. It is frequently looted though, so I will warn you of that. 
make sure to go all the way to the end, but then come back and follow this white road out of the industrial area. Cross the railroad tracks, go to the gap in the fence, and go up the hill. Here, you're going to find a couple tents. And by a couple, I mean two tents and one of the camo net buildings. Go out the other side and dip down to this little valley to the right, and make your way to the main road. There's a couple more guard shacks to hit before Cherno, so stop here and hit these two, then keep following the road. Make a right here and cross the railroad tracks. And stop by this last guard shack before going into the main part of Cherno. So here we have it, the main part of Cherno, the capital of the land. Most of the buildings in here are row houses and other buildings which do offer a lot of civilian loot like shotguns, IZH rifles, small pistols, and then of course food. There are also a couple of really unique buildings off to the left over here. Here we have the capital building, and I'm pretty sure this is the only one in the entire map. It doesn't spawn any loot, but it's still a cool place to check out. To the left of it, there's a church that has a well, and then this hotel building that has a plane crashed into it. Again, no loot, but definitely worth checking out. So here's where we left off. Keep following the road from that last guard shack we looted, and then make your way into town. Cross this bridge and then make a right, and then make your first left. At the green piano building, make a left, and then quickly loot the new police station. We're going to want to back out of there and just keep going the way we were going. Make a right so you can go underneath this bridge. And then make your first right after that. We've got the hospital over here on our left, but we're going to go past that just to hit one more guard shack. Back out of there and go back to the hospital. Loot the hospital, and from there it's pretty much a straight shot looking straight ahead to get to a second police station, one of the old yellow ones. Uh, just for simplicity's sake though, we're going to follow the road. After you're done at the police station, go through the yards and angle yourself at the clearing and just go up the hill to the farthest point of the clearing and cut through the trees. This will take you to another set of military tents. While looting this area, you're going to want to take extra special care to look up the hill for snipers. There's also uh, what they call the glass factory over on the left over here. People can shoot you from there as well, so be careful. Now we're going to follow the road and make our way to Belota Airstrip. Once you start to see a town up ahead and reach a clearing, veer left, but try to stay in the tree line. This is going to cut you across into the Belota airstrip. So 
So just to give you a reference point, we're coming in from this direction over here. There's a lot to loot in Belota. There's the camo netting building over here, the tents behind the civilian hangar, a couple more tents behind that, and then a camo netting building and another tent farther down the line. That out in the distance is below to town, which is going to be our next stop. You can loot around town for civilian loot and food, but the only really interesting thing here is the well. After that, we're going to keep trucking to the next town. This here is Camarovo. You've got another well down here, and then you've got the yellow old style police station over here. We're going to follow the road west to a one of a kind spot on the map. When you're approaching the big hill on the right, you'll see off to the left is Prison Island. Now since the introduction of stamina, I haven't actually made the swim out here. Uh, I hear it can take quite a long time, but it's definitely a cool little place to check out if you've never been there before. I would definitely recommend at least going there once. On the west side of the island, we have three civilian barracks, a camo jail, two guard shacks, and a couple of the green watchtowers. Across the bridge we have the main prison building, which has a lot of cool and unique stuff in it. Going through the front entrance, you can enter the main building through this door to the left. You can also go through this yard to find some jail cells and the main prison yard. Uh, this is a good area to find some interesting clothes like the prison jumpsuit outfits. Out here in the yard, there's a couple green watchtowers and a military barracks where you can find some good loot. This is a shot of the inside of the main prison building. There's obviously a lot of jail cells, and you can find some clothes and some other military gear around here. It's definitely a cool place to check out, just explore a little bit, and see some unique structures, because, you know, a lot of the stuff in the DayZ map can get a little repetitive, so something unique like this can be a lot of fun to look at. Now back on the mainland, we can keep following the road west to Kamenka. Kamenka has a well and a general store where you can find PU scopes and some hunting clothes. Now if you'd like, you can head north on this road to make your way to Pavlovo military base, but we're going to make one quick stop before that. Now follow the road west out of town to make your way to the Kamenka military base or the southwestern evac point. I've heard it referred to as both of those names. Once you get to these cars, I'd advise you to go a little bit right into the woods and walk up the hill a little bit. This is going to be a safer way to approach the base and it'll give you an opportunity to overlook the sniper positions. The northern hill overlooking this base obviously makes it really hazardous to loot. You definitely want to be careful and check for snipers in all the trees and the bushes north of this base. 
The base itself has five tents and a camo net structure. You can definitely find some good loot here. Now back to Kamanka, we're going to follow that road I pointed out earlier north to Pavlovo Military Base. Now if you remember, earlier we were in a town called Kamarovo, which was before the prison island. There is also a road that leads north out of Kamarovo, and if you want to, you can just take that road to get to this Pavlovo Military Base. Uh, obviously you're skipping a couple towns and a couple other cool areas, but it is a shortcut to get you to Pavlova Military Base and then Zelenogorsk a lot quicker. If you keep following the road, you'll eventually see some fencing and green watchtowers to your right, which is when you want to get off the road and go into the military base. To show you this base, we're going to do things a little differently, and we're going to follow this character. Go in the base through the gap in the fence that you saw, and first loot a couple of these green watchtowers and this guard shack right here. Then, make a left and make your way up the rock area, trying to be as stealth as possible. This is an area where a lot of people like to snipe from, and it's going to give you a good overlook of the entire main part of the base. Make sure you check the rock formation over here, because people have found a way to hop up on top of this, and it's a really good sniping location. Once you feel it's safe enough to enter, head down into the base. You've got a military barrack to your left, and then the hospital to your right. Then there's this guard shack and a couple military shipping containers. To the right of those is one more military barrack, another shipping container or two, and a green guard shack. Now there are still a couple more areas we're going to want to loot in this military base. Follow this road to another section with some shipping containers and a military barracks. You want to exit this area through the gap in the fence over here. Make your way through the woods to the final barracks in this base. You can follow this road to a couple shipping containers and another guard shack. From here, follow the road out of the base and make a right. It's going to be a short trip to Pavlovo Town. And here we have Pavlovo. This is where the base from the beginning of the video is located on the DayZ Underground US server, which in my opinion is one of the best first person servers to play on. In case you don't know, it has a bunch of groups and factions that claim certain territories on the map and can make for some really, really fun encounters. This town has a well behind this green double story building and a general store over here. Now we're going to make our way to our last stop for this video, Zelenogorsk. And finally we have Zelenogorsk. This town is really active due to the large military base that has lots of shipping containers and multiple buildings for military loot. I'm going to cover this town in depth and show you how to continue journeying north from here in the next video, so be sure to stay tuned for that one. But before we wrap up, let's review where we've gone so far. We started off our journey in Electro, and then made our way west into Cherno. After looting around, we stopped at a small military area to the north and continued into Belota airstrip and town. We followed the road west to Kamarovo, swam south to the prison island, went back to the mainland and west to Kamenka, and the military evac point even further west. 
After backtracking back to Kamanka, we went north to the Pavlovo military base and then the town itself. Finally, we kept going north to Zelenogorsk, which is where we will pick things back up in the next video. Alright, well thanks so much for watching everyone. Later this week I'll be releasing a PvP video called The Backpack Bandit, so be sure to subscribe to see that. I really think it's going to be a fun one, so definitely check it out. Hopefully I'll see you guys then. Until then, take care.